This is Wicked Roadie, a Wicked Good podcast about Rhode Island events and life. Hello, my name is Mary Larson. And I may or may not be town moderator Ben DeCastro <laughs> because let's be honest, we record this a couple days beforehand. Yeah. And we're actually recording this on election day. So uh, I may or may not be the town moderator at this point. The of town moderator, the town mater- moderator may be already eliminated. You and I was know. the last one. So it was a, it's fun. But uh, it's been a wild weekend and week. Uh, I I am looking forward to listening to normal TV and radio oh, commercials. Me too. You know, it's just like I'm, I'm fine with that. <laughs> it's, you know, people often uh, uh, often hate when Christmas commercials come up way too early. Sure, but sure. I think we're all really looking forward to having a nice jolly change. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> have you saw, have you seen any? Christmas commercials or holiday commercials yet? I haven't yet. I've seen, of course, the Christmas stuff out at the stores already. And I may or may not have already purchased some holiday flair. Nothing wrong with that. uh, (laughs) You got a new house. You got a new house to decorate. You you got to have all the good stuff. That's right. That's right. Yeah, but I haven't seen the commercials yet. But I'm thinking by the time this episode comes out, things will be a little different. Yeah, I think uh, after, after, yeah, after the whole election, everything's over, you know, as far as the the actual tallies you start seeing those normal commercials you know so by the time people will listen to this you're in the full flutter of of the holiday commercials and everything now do you shop online do you shop local what do you do i do a good mix of shopping i do most of my shopping honestly online but i'll do you know the small business saturday i'll mm-hmm. go out and i'll make sure that i'll purchase especially items for like my mom yep. you know i can't for my kids if i know that i'm getting a, a specific board game or things like that that the little local shops might not have right i'll i'll do that but um well it just makes mom, it easier too yeah it does yeah. it does and and that way they don't see it I yep. think that's the tough thing now that I have kids to find the time to shop without them okay. to make it exciting. But yeah, I do a good hybrid. How about you? Uh, I I usually shop at the CVS kiosk uh, <laughs> with gift cards, <laughs> yeah. and uh, I might actually get it done before December twenty fourth this year. I like uh, that. You know, it's uh, you know Home Depot for Dad. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, you know a nice uh, another clothing store for my mother. You know, it's you yeah. know my sister. You know, there's always the gift of furniture. You know, you can always get a McCarty's gift card yep. if you want, or you know, get them a a uh, gift card to Benny's or something, let mm-hmm. them, you know, go, go crazy there. But, uh, since getting married, Susan puts so much effort into my nieces and nephews, uh, gifts. Yeah. They are much happier now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, well, hey, you know, it's they unwrap something. Uh, Uncle Ben was a little busy. What can you say? So, but anyway, we got a lot of great stuff to talk about today. So if you tuned in while you're on the road working or getting some errands done, just sit back, listen and enjoy the episode. And if you hear something that piques your interest, we'll have all the links and info for you in the show notes on our website, which is wickedroadypodcast.com. All right, then, what do we have going on this week that is wicked interesting? It is the wicked interesting Rhode Island Armenian Festival. This thing is huge. I mean, it is massive. It is Saturday and Sunday, November 12th and 13th at the Roads on the Patuxent in Cranston. It's presented by Saints. Vardanance Armenian Apostolic Church, and it's held at the Roads in the Patuxent, right there, uh, right on on Roads Place yeah. in uh, in it's Cranston. It's a big venue. It's huge, and let me tell you, they pack it up with all sorts of food, entertainment, music, games, raffles, awesome prizes. Not to mention the this huge bazaar, which you, you can actually start your holiday shopping right there. Um, they have so many great crafts, you know, local unique items. Uh, it is just. If you've never been, wow. So I have a lot of Armenian friends. Okay. But I honestly don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm just very naive, I guess, to Armenian culture. Like, what is something that I might find there to eat? Or what kind of music, like, what instruments do they have for their music? I know nothing about Armenian culture. Food, yeah. shish kebabs. <gasps> okay, I can get down with yeah, that. Yeah, oh, yeah, absolutely. They, they <laughs> if you go on their... If you follow our link, you go on their page, you'll see like these massive grills with just these skewers of thousands of pieces of chicken and uh, lush kebabs and uh, all sorts of good stuff. They make their own baklava. They got rice pilaf, um, kufta, 
which is a a, a dinner uh, item as well, and uh, it's it, it's just it's unbelievable. My mouth is watering, it, it, and it should go hungry. Go with the, you know, bring bring lots of money because you're going to want to buy all the good stuff that's over there. And uh, so yeah, it's 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 one of those events that happens, and it's kind of below the radar mm-hmm. for the rest of the state and even people who may not be part of the Armenian culture, but it has exploded over the past couple of years as far as the growth and reach for, uh, for different people uh, in the community. So it's, it's definitely our wicked, interesting pick of the week. All right. So here is what's wicked fun in the 401. The first event that I want to recommend is the Ladies Rock Camp Final Showcase. So I don't know if you guys have heard about Girls Rock Rhode Island, but it's this organization that really wants to kind of like help empower young women, young girls, especially about learning different instruments and kind of being powered through being rock stars, you know, well, learn how to play. Who doesn't want to do that? Right, right. You and I, of course, are both musicians. <laughs> Absolutely. And it's made us a... Very confident in many ways. Yeah, sure, absolutely. And- also <laughs> makes you very vulnerable in a lot of ways yes, too, especially does. when you're toting around an accordion case. Oh yeah, you know that is <laughs> that would do it. So they host these camps during the summertime for for younger girls, and then occasionally throughout the year they actually host these events for women, for adult women, and they learn instruments. It's a three day this whole weekend. Okay. They learn an instrument. So maybe they're gonna learn how to play the guitar. Maybe they're gonna learn how to play the drums like not as good as you, Ben, but they're gonna learn how to they're play the drums. Probably a lot better well. than me. <laughs> and these women create bands. So you go to camp and you show up for these three days and you learn how to play an instrument. You're put in a band and they write songs. And so it's going to be on Sunday at 6 p.m. and it's going to be their performances are only an hour long it's like 6 30 to 7 30 um p.m. and they as i said they you get to see them learn these learn these instruments but then perform on stage and i've had a lot of friends who have been able to participate in this organization in these concerts and it's just so fun to see them up there i mean these could be your sister this could be your mom friend this could be your neighbor and they get up there and they are suddenly rock stars you know well how often do you have that opportunity and if they've got the training if they're helping you learn how to do it and and put a quick band together uh, i love one of the talking notes here earplugs will be available that's very important not (laughs) because it sounds bad because it's going to be loud so Mm -hmm. protect your hearing and uh, where does all this go down? At Aurora Providence. That's oh, okay. at 276 Westminster Street. Oh, cool. Yeah, but it's only going to be an hour. So if you wanted to go, it's also fun if you have young kids who kind of like loud totally, music too. So totally. yeah, that, that'd be the event that I would recommend. What kid doesn't love a rock concert? Or story time <laughs> for that matter. Panda Pants with Jacqueline Davies is taking place. It's a book reading and signing at two locations on Saturday. So from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. It will be at the Barrington Books in Barrington, Rhode Island. And then from 3 to 5 p.m., they'll be over at Garden City, Barrington Books, retold location. So Garden City, Cranston, they have all these new shops. Mm -hmm. One of their shops is the Barrington Books retold. It's a it's a really cute little bookshop. I've been there myself. So come on in for a very special story time. They'll have a book signing with the children's book author, Jacqueline Davies, in honor of her new book, Panda Pants. She'll do the reading right there. They'll have some fun activities, giveaways, and much more. Plus... I don't want to spoil any surprises here, but there is rumors that there may be a plush panda up for grabs. So right then and there, there, right there, go and have fun. What else we got? The Lady Project, uh, the Providence Lady Project, which a lot of people have heard yeah, about and participated in, sure. they're having the Lady Project's first ever gala. Now, wow. you and I were talking about, do we sure. say gala? Do we say gala? We're going to go with gala today because that sounds very fancy. I like it. So it's their first annual Lady Project Gala, and it's going to be celebrating women in Rhode Island. It's November 12th, so that's this Saturday, and it's going to be at the Barnaby Castle in the historic West End. Oh, cool. I've never been there. A lot of people have never been there. It's kind of like newly opened. Is there a moat? Is there a dragon? (laughs) That would be Is there a huge drawbridge? (laughs) 
<laughs> really I mean, what castle. kind of what kind of a castle is this? I don't. How does someone get to classify their house as a castle? I don't know. I don't know how many rocks you use in the foundation for the walls, the turrets. What is it? Seriously, oh, because one so of the many Newport questions. mansions is get, called get a castle. Get Ciara uh, on the phone. Get yes. Ciara Botter on the phone. We want to know <laughs> how how does she know this is a castle? Yes, yes. But, other uh, knights inside. So it was normally this castle, Barnaby's castle, was hidden to the rest of the world, but the people get to go in. The it is. A a tire is going to be cocktail or black tie, so you can choose between that. There's going to be DJs, lots of good food, Caribbean fare, um, lots of cocktails through Origin Beverage Company and Anchor Distilling Company. There's going to be wine by Chloe Wine Collection and even local brews. By the Revival Brewing Company, this, so and sounds like a great night. And you know, there's this is the first ever for uh, for the Lady Project, not just the gala, but mm-hmm. this is the first ever event that men can attend. Huge, big, huge, big. The yes. only one. Yeah, there won't be another. I mean, there may be other galas <laughs> that men can yeah. attend, but there's no other Lady Project events that men can attend. Yeah, so, so. it tickets are one hundred and fifty dollars okay. for non-members and a hundred dollars for Lady Project members. And of course, this is an event to raise money for uh, the Lady Project, which is a nonprofit that really helps celebrate and inspire and showcase women who are just doing pretty awesome things here in sure. our state. Sure, absolutely. Well, another awesome event that's happening. Do you remember the band Real Big Fish? Oh, do I? Mid to late 90s ska from California Mm -hmm. at Lupo's in Providence. It is going to be Saturday night. It is the 20th anniversary of their huge record, Turn the Radio Off. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they're going to be performing that. They've been on a tour. They will play the album in in its entirety from start to finish, and they'll be performing other songs as well. They have uh, two bands opening up for them, Masked Intruder and Stacked Like Pancakes. Those two bands will be opening for them. Uh, So if you are a fan of Ska, a fan of the summer of Ska, which was 1996, or you just, you know, want to go out for a great band, they're a lot of fun. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's quite ruckus and rowdy. It is. So, uh, make sure you head on over there and, uh, you can get your tickets online, but again, it's Saturday night at Lupo's doors at six show start at six 30 real big fish in Providence. If it's a first date, maybe it's an anniversary, or just looking for something to create a little spark, you know, we try to provide you some wicked romantic happenings, ideas, and if you have one yourself, you're more than welcome to sub- submit it over our website or our Facebook page. But Mary, you have a a a holistic approach to a date. Yeah, yeah. So Blake and I just moved recently, and that's been hard on us emotionally and hard on us physically. And I learned about this wonderful place called Rafa Yoga, which is here in Cranston. And they have all sorts of treatments. They have yoga, but they also do massage, therapeutic massage. They even do couples massage. So you can go and unwind. And they also have this thing called Urban Sweat, which I've never heard of before. Sure. Until I went to Rafa Yoga recently for for a different treatment. And basically, the Urban Sweat rooms are different hot rooms, whether it's a charcoal room or a turmeric room or even a eucalyptus steam room. Yep. And then there's a relaxation room that is supposed to normalize your body temperature. And the idea is that you go into these rooms for about 20 minutes and then you go cool off and you're kind of sweating out the toxins. Yeah, yeah. You're loosening up your body. You're just really relaxing. Yeah. Active, and, active relaxation. Yeah. 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 So yeah, I've seen, I've seen online. I've, I've talked with different people who've done it. I've never done it myself. We'll have to definitely get over there to do it because that is a great idea. Mm-hmm. I mean, especially to do it with, you know, with, a person that, you know, you could do it with your spouse or you can do it with, you know, a girlfriend or boyfriend or, or whomever or even just a close friend because it, it's relaxing together. And, and it's a good time to just unwind and do something different, different space, different. Uh, a great idea. And they also have a little snack bar. So say you're going to be there for a while. You want a treatment and then you go. They have a juice bar, a snack bar. So you could have a massage. Go get a little something to eat if you'd like. And then go out to Urban Sweat. So I'd, that's- go, I'd go just for the snacks. <laughs> This week's Wicked Family Friendly event is a generic one, but something that I wanted to make sure you all knew about is that if you like a fresh, real-life Christmas tree, now is the time to really go out and start 
tagging them. A lot of our local Christmas tree farms have been posting on their Facebook sites and just posting on their websites to come on over and tag trees. And one of the great things if you're going to go tag a tree is you can actually then take your photos in front of these trees because yeah. that's that'd be perfect for your holiday cards. Well, you know? bring some decorations. Maybe, you know, you don't have to bring all the ornaments, but maybe your kids bring your favorite ornament mm-hmm. or or a something that's special. Yeah, that's a great idea. And I mean, the week, the weather this weekend is supposed to be really great. I mean, it's supposed to be, you know, very mild and, and, you know, sunny. So that's, that's a great idea to go out there. And, you know, sometimes we forget about it, especially with everything that's that we just came off Halloween. Yes. We're going through, we just came off the elections and we may totally forget that because I, Christmas is not that far away. Not at all. So that's a great idea to, uh, to do you have a farm that you've gone to in the, so here's the thing. We don't get real life Christmas trees. We have a fake Christmas tree. I'm one okay. of those people. But I want to go. But you have cats. I, well, that's why. <laughs> they eat them. Sure. And they drink yeah. the water that's out of the Christmas good. tree thing, mm-hmm. Christmas tree bowl. So we've just decided while we have these cats to get. Sadly, we have a nice fake one, but I do want to go to the Christmas tree farms because that just to me feels so Americana and I want to go and take pictures with my kids and get some hot chocolate from Dunkin' Donuts on the way and just really smell the pine. How about you? It's it's a, it's a controllable forest for your kids. You know, it's, (laughs) you know that they're only within, I mean, everything's neat and organized. It's not that crazy. You can let them run around. That's a, yeah, a lot of those farms, you know, will have different activities aside from just going and, and picking out the tree you're right they may have uh you can bring your own hot chocolate they may have hot chocolate or hot cider or just something different to do there maybe cookies i know as it gets closer to the holiday season santa claus makes his arrival and, and is hanging out there for his photos yeah gotta get that happening there so all right so tag the christmas trees do you get a real christmas tree we do we do now my dad and his my family's the castro farms out of portsmouth rhode island so um we get our Christmas tree from there, and it was actually uh, our first Christmas together, uh, Susan and I. It was it was sort of anticlimactic oh because when she came, she was like, "Oh, we're gonna go get a Christmas tree." I'm like, "Yeah, my dad just usually drops one off, one that he has left over, you know, in the, in the back, you know, the the one that's a little shorter because I have low ceilings." And, oh. But we decorate it. We, okay. we make it. we make it pretty. We make we you know, and uh, you know, we leave it up until you know March or April or something. Yeah. You know, it's you know, just let it let it just sit there. It, it, it you know becomes one with the house. I love the process so much that I've gone with my friend Eric, who does get real Christmas trees. Okay. I tag along. It's not for me. No, it's not my tree. Absolutely. But I just want to go. There you go. Right. Put it for you guys. You can put it right out there on Facebook. Like say, hey, listen, if you're going to tag a tree. Let me know. We'd love to come with you. Mm-hmm. And uh, you know, it can be vicariously part of the process. That's it. That's it. Get my pine smell. That's right. No matter where you are in Rhode Island, you're never more than 18 and a half miles from either Massachusetts or Connecticut. So here's a couple of events that are just over the border. Mary, you had a fun time this past weekend. I did. We took a drive during this rainy weekend to Cape Cod okay. to go to an indoor water park, the Cape Codder Resort and Spa. Right. Yeah. Right off of Route 6, there, exit mm-hmm. 6 off Route 6, right by the Cape Cod Mall. So this time of year, driving on the Cape... Absolutely beautiful. Oh, you can the get right down there. Foliage, it's so easy. Sure. And they have this brand new water park that opened up in August. It is ginormous. Indoor. It's indoor water park. Indoor. They had they already had a another part of their water park, so they've now expanded it. So they have like a whole like wave pool and a jacuzzi. Oh. And it's absolutely stunning. But they've added this whole new section where there's an indoor lighthouse that has two big winding slides that you can shoot down. A Real life size humpback whale replica that squirts Fantastic. out all these fountains out of it. One of those lazy river pools that every 10 or 15 minutes becomes a little bit faster. And <laughs> there's a whole light show. But there's also an area for little kids. So mine are three and one. Right. They're not really good for this kind of lazy river or wave pool, but they have this area called Pirate Bay and it's all little baby water slides okay. and little sprinklers. So we said, you know what? The weather's not so great. Let's get out of the house because I don't know about you, Ben, but when we're home, I find things to do. Mm -hmm. I have to grocery shop or there's things to fix. So Mm -hmm. sometimes just having a little mini vacation, just heading somewhere right over the border 
automatically we felt relaxed. And because the room, we stayed there overnight, we went, we played in the water park, we came back, we had some lunch in our room, and then Blake and the baby took a nap. I went back out to the water park with my three-year-old Reese, and we just had a blast. That's so, awesome. Yeah, I'd highly recommend checking it out. Cape Cotter Resort and Spa. And now's a great time to hit it up. And even just after the holidays, too, if you're if you're looking for something to do, the week between Christmas and New Year's, I know for a fact, it gets very busy over yeah. there. But beyond that, it's not that far. Mm-hmm. It's it's I think it's about an hour ride if you were in Providence to yes. get down there. So it's not bad at all, especially with kids. Well, the other great event that's going on, it is the final show of the Extra Point Football Show at Cardi's Furniture this Monday night with Duran Harmon. He is a New England Patriots uh, football player, and he will be in the showroom for their live broadcast on Sports Radio 103.7 WEEI. They also tape it for replay on MyRI TV. It's at Cardi's Furniture in South Attleboro. If you're one of the first 100 people to get there, you get a free autographed photo of the new england patriots player so if this is a perfect family event i've said it a number of times this is not people going in there with you know the 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 kids you know college cards and trying to get all the autographs this is geared specifically to families plenty of parking it's very convenient to get there there's not a whole lot of uh crazy lines it's just a great atmosphere it's very controlled plus your kids get to see a live radio broadcast and tv taping at the same time. What so, do they talk about on this radio broadcast? I mean, as you say, you've talked about this a few times, but so what do they ask these players? Well, it's hosted by Scott Kardishi, and Scott Kardishi is, uh, right now, he's the operations guy over at Brown University for their football team. Scott is a sports-minded person. He went to Syracuse. He's very, very in tune with everything that is sports. So they talk a little bit about the stats, but primarily they'll talk about the player himself as far as anything he's involved with off the field, as far as nonprofit or charity work. They'll talk about what he did, how he got his start into football, what he likes to do in his free time. So it's really a get to know you segment Mm -hmm. versus just a just a generic, you know, football talk radio. You listen to it. You can, you know, there's, there's, there's talk shows all day, all night long with with when it comes to sports that a lot of people tune out. This is interesting because it's a different introspective into the players, uh, you know, life and and what they do. So Mm -hmm. That's uh that's happening on Monday. It's a Monday night event at 7 p.m. We're at Cardi's Furniture in South Attleboro. You know, reviews are so helpful in bringing us more people just like you who are interested in either coming to Rhode Island or live in Rhode Island looking for something different to do. So if you have a moment, would you mind giving us a rating and tell us why you like listening or how our podcast has helped complete your weekend plans or introduce you to something new in the ocean state. And Mary, I think we have a review on iTunes this week from a very cool named uh, iTunes. Flint McFly. Yes, a very cool iTunes named user. Yeah. So Flint McFly said, even though I live in New York, Rhode Island will always have a special place in my heart. The sights, the sound, the people, the food, and the boxing. Wicked Rudy is an awesome podcast that brings me back to Rhode Island even when I'm not there. So, Flint, thank you so much for taking the time to write that review. You're right. The sights, the sounds of people, and talking about boxing, mm-hmm. I think he might be referencing uh, Vinny Pazienza, whose movie Bleed for this, with big. Chad Verdi, the producer. It's it's a uh, big premiere. is Thursday uh, November 10th, which is right. actually the night that this episode drops, and then it comes out nationwide november 18th so i think that's what flint might have been referencing there because i know myself i'm not a boxer so yes yes (laughs) well thank you so much and one thing i wanted to note you know you're talking about the itunes reviews for those of you who are listening say on your iphone Mm -hmm. if you open up your podcast app everyone has a podcast app if you have an iphone you can't delete it you can't It's, it's one of those permanent ones you can actually leave us a written review through that app. Right. So right, you don't even exactly. have to go to a website. Yep. You could just open it up. So if you have a moment, we would be forever thankful. So thanks again to those of you who've already written it. All right, it's time to close the show. And as we said in the beginning, everything we talked about today can be found on our website, wickedroadypodcast.com. Yeah, that's right. And everything you can also find us on Facebook. 
Instagram, if you're posting photos from any of the events we chatted about or any of the different you know, activities out there and you want us to share them with us, we'd love to see what you're seeing out there. You can either tag us in the description or just use the hashtag Wicked Roadie. And if you're interested in advertising, being part of the show or sponsorship, just email us at wickedroadypodcast at gmail.com. Until next time, I'm Mary. And I'm Ben. And you've been listening to Wicked Roadie. We'll have more for you next Thursday. 